Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I am over at a pretty cool and awesome base. Let me just go into camera mode and let me show you this. So this base was actually made by Lance Sterling, as you can see there. Let's go into the old camera mode. Let's put the sun in. Oh, the sun is already in the sky. Don't need to do that bit. But look at this. This is the HMS Queen Elizabeth Tribute Base. And it's a battleship type galleon. And it's freaking lovely. I mean, look at the attention to detail on this freaking thing. It's immense. Let's head on over, shall we, people? Let's have a better look at this thing. Go on. Go for the tents. You know you want to. Let's head across this mezzanine onto this lovely base. I have got some news for you as well, people inside the view of us. Yes, welcome aboard the HMS Queen Elizabeth. Freaking awesome. Oh, and he's even done the interiors. This is great. I guess. Go back out onto the old deck. I love it. It's freaking cool, isn't it? Put him upstairs inside this beauty. Oh, would you look at this? Lovely. Very nautical. I guess. It's even got a wheel. Brilliant, eh? I guess, people, this is lovely, isn't it? Well, you know what, people? Why don't I give you the news quickly? So here we go. Let's head on over to this and let's just hit it up. There we go. So we're over on the old Tinterwebs. So you can see here, I'm on the Nintendo site. And over on Nintendo, I might have to zoom out a bit because I'm covering this. You can see up here, it's on sale for 19s of the 1999s. Well, when does this end, though? It ends on the 15th of January. 15th of January, that one ends, people. And over on the next tab, it's actually on sale on PlayStation, PSN. And that one is until the 5th, I think it says down there, people. The 5th of January is. And over on Steam, it's only on sale for another 32 hours. Okay. And on Xbox, it's not on sale at all, people. Now, I don't think this is the normal run of signs that we go for. You know, for the whole hype sort of scenario. Honestly, don't think it is. I think this is more, you know, like they announced their new game, like No Fire, at the Games Awards. Well, if you look at other games that were announced then, like Dragon's Dogma 2 and um, Monster Hunter World, if you look at their previous games, like Dragon's Dogma 1, it's actually on sale on to 84%. And if you look at, say, Monster Hunter World, 67% on sale. So I think they're just trying to capitalise on sales. And what I would say to you, if you haven't hit on up No Man's Sky and you're wondering what Hello Games is all about and you want a taste of what Like No Fire might bring to the table, grab yourself a copy of No Man's Sky. It's a freaking awesome game, people. Anyway, let's go back inside of the old game world, yeah, shall we? We're back inside of the game world. Lovely jobly. Let's continue on with our tour. There you go. Delivered you a bit of news and doing a base tour at the same time. I know I spoil you, right? So, yeah, I don't think it's anything to really write home about at the moment for the old stuffage. I kind of feel that, you know, if there was an emoji drop or something like that from Sean, then I'll start getting excited. But until that happens, I kind of feel that they're going to exhaust all of the Quicksilver options first. And then, and only then, do I think that things might start moving on a bit. Right, so if you want to come here and visit this lovely base, it's actually in the Eisentown Galaxy, which is Galaxy 10. You can see the actual coordinates in the lower left of the screen right there, people. But this is a pretty darn freaking gnarly base. Very nice indeedy doody. Who was it again? Let's just go on over. It was Lance Sterling HMS Queen Elizabeth Tribute. So, chums, if you do come and visit this base, it is in Eisentam. So you have to get yourself to Eisentam first and portal over. But please do not build on top of this base or anywhere too close to it. It's quite a complex base, so give a decent distance to stop it, you know, from having rendering issues. Because I'm sure a lot of people would like to come and visit this. It's freaking awesome. It really is. Very cool. And I don't think I've even seen half of it. It's, it's, it's massive. It's freaking great. Really cool. Anyway, people, I think that's pretty much everything I've got for you news-wise, I think. Oh, yeah, so I was going to show you the No Man's Sky Assistant app, and I was going to have a look at the things that are due to come inside of Quicksilver Store. So if I open up my No Man's Sky Assistant app on my phone, lovely jubbly, yeah. And if I go into Community Missions on the old app, boom, 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 you can see there we've completed the ice statues. We're currently running the current expedition. 
After the expedition, we've got these three decals. A fluttering decal, a little beetly decal, and then a blue system decal. Then after the decals, or decals, we've got three more ice statues. An Atlas ice statue, an ice diplo statue, and an ice fighter statue. Then after those, we've got yet another three decals. Now I am wondering, people, whether we're going to exhaust all of these and that's going to take us to mid to late Feb. Or after the actual ice statues, we might get an update then around mid Feb along with a giant update is what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's where I'm sort of hedging my bets. That's what I'm thinking right now. And I think the next update might be part four of the ARG arc and also the quick trailer that Hello Games put out there at the Game Awards, I think that's going to come into fruition. The new stations, the new ship type, and whatever else might be inside of that. Now, because there's been some bugs around swapping your freighter for another freighter, I'm wondering whether they might touch freighters inside of the update. I'm also wondering whether they might touch on the Wonders catalogue. Uh, why do I think they might touch on the, the Wonders catalogue? Well, let me just show you quickly, people. If I go inside of my catalogue right now and I go to my wonders, you can see there it says 36 of 78, okay? Now I've completed pretty much every page in here apart from that one. So there's just one that I haven't completed. Completed, get done all of them, all of those are done, all of those are done. You get the freaking point. I've, I've done them all, okay? It's all full, so I just don't understand why it's saying 36 of 78. It's, it, it, that's just, a, I mean, these are my personal records. They don't count towards it. And even if I did fill all these out, there's only like one, two, three, four, five. So five plus the six, that's what, 42. And there's 78 there. So I think they're going to be adding in a heck of a lot more wonders into the actual catalogue. What those wonders may be is anybody's guess. Now, there's a game coming out called Enshrouded fairly soon, people inside the Viewerverse, and it's got quite a lovely game idea. Now, the game idea inside of Enshrouded is there's this, like, this thick fog that you dive down into and you have to take out these giant root crops that's causing this sort of weird mist and fog to appear. I'm wondering whether they're going to put something similar inside of, Hel inside of No Man's Sky, but we have to dive into maybe the Void or the Realm of Glass and do some sort of raid activity in there to sort of quell or you know please the void mother in some way or restore echoes and maybe we can only do it like for a limited period of time a little bit like diving into the old um the enshrouded areas inside of enshrouded I, I've, I've just got a feeling but we'll, we'll see we'll see i mean that's that's kind of wishful thinking i mean i don't want to put it out there as gospel that's wishful thinking i'm just thinking what could bring players back time and time again to play now i did a video the other day and i've asked people to put comments on there about the things that they think will make no man's sky the biggest a, a big update year uh, I need to do a video on that. So I'll be delivering that soon as well, people. Until next time, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.